Hey, it's Steve. I thought I'd make a video while out for a walk on this uh, beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, it's day two of the 30 day video series and of uh, also water fasting. So uh, it's about a little after 8 a.m. right now. So I've been water fasting um, just over 22 hours. So my energy is a little low right now, but not too bad enough. Uh, it was good enough I could go out for a walk. Uh, today I want to talk about, um, you know, what to do when you're broke and when you're just like not getting anything going financially and you really want to turn things around. Because um, I've been through that period myself. My first five years in business uh, in, the, in the late uh, 1990s, second half of the 90s, I basically uh, sank into debt for five years and went bankrupt. <laughs> it was not a positive experience financially. And uh, I remember just in the recovery period, there were times where you know, my, uh, my wife Erin at the time and I were, you know, you, we were using a cardboard box for a piece of furniture. We had to, uh, we, we got kicked out of our apartment because we couldn't pay the rent. We had to scramble to find a cheaper place to live. Uh, it was a sucky situation to be in. Uh, some months we would end the month with just less than $100 to our name. And we had no credit too, because we'd gone bankrupt. So that was a tough situation to be in. And uh, what finally started turning things around and moving the, need the needle was to focus, um, focus attention differently. Instead of uh, focusing on the neediness and the lack and um, trying to get something going for yourself, you know, which is so tempting to do, um, instead it was to focus on having more fun in life and enjoying life more and especially contributing more to other people's lives. And that is a very counterintuitive and tough thing to do when you're broke because the natural temptation is to focus on your own needs, your own neediness, and thinking uh, thinking that you have to get something going for yourself. Good morning. Thinking that you have to get something going for yourself uh, first before you can, um, you can contribute. And that's a trap because it's much better to um, mindset-wise focus on making a contribution for other people. And the reason that works is that when you focus on contributing to others, it invites all sorts of help into your life. It gets people to contribute to you. Um, and that makes, your, that makes your job so much easier. When you're focused on your own neediness and your own lack, it's very uninspiring to other people. They won't naturally want to help you. They won't naturally want to make uh, much of a contribution to your life. But when you can reach outside of that and and contribute to other people's lives, it makes a huge difference. It's, uh, so what I started doing during that time is I started running articles on the side to help other people. I started volunteering at a trade association. Uh, I carved out whatever time I could do for that and I spent less time working on my own neediness. I just basically barely scraped by. Uh, and that turned everything around for me. Uh, it raised my profile in, in the industry. It, uh, it created like so many gifts coming into my life, um, positive experiences, things like that. Good morning. Created uh, uh, lots of lots of backflow of other people contributing to me. And now that I'm on the other side of this, and I look for people that I can help, that I can mentor. I see the big picture in a whole different way. And so I want to share that with you. See, the thing is, there are lots of people out there who have plenty of time and resources to help others and to help people who are struggling to get a leg up. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those people. I often look for people that I can, you know, give a little extra boost to. Uh, um, now think about it. I don't have, you know, I don't have unlimited time and resources to devote, to devote that to that kind of thing. So what kinds of people am I going to target? What kinds of people am I going to focus on? I'm going to focus on people who are of a contributing mindset. The ones who are all about me, 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 I'm broke. I need to focus on myself first. I need to fulfill my needs first and then I can help others. That's very uninspiring. It's uninteresting because you think if you contribute to those people, it'll be a dead end. And many times I got sucked into helping those people. And it is indeed a dead end. You help them and they just suck your energy away and they're still stuck in neediness because neediness is a mindset. It becomes a habit after a while. Uh, and then when I stopped doing that, I stopped uh, focusing on those people, it freed up more time to genuinely help people that were the contributors. And when you help a contributor, somebody who, um, even when they're broke or deep in debt, they're of the mindset, like, 
hey, I can make a difference in the world. I, I may not have you know, much for myself, but I can reach out and I can help somebody else. Um, and the people who have the motivation and the mindset to want to create positive ripples in the world, to want to do something purposeful with their lives, to do something meaningful, those are the people that if you help them, if you give them a leg up, they're going to create more positive ripples and they're going to inspire other people to create more positive ripples in the world. And that creates a better planet, a better world for all of us. And so I think there's just a very, um, a very natural and easy way to get motivated to help those kinds of people when you feel you're in an abundance mindset. You know, the, the people I know who are fairly wealthy, um, they will, you know, they often like mentoring people. They like helping people get a leg up but they're gonna focus on the contributors. And I didn't really see that side when I was broke because those people were ignoring me because my mindset initially was just to you know, focus on my own needs and, and helping myself and that didn't work well. But when I transitioned to just giving up on that mindset and I gave up on it because I'd already went bankrupt doing that, it, it clearly wasn't working. Um, and when I transitioned to the other side, I began seeing like an immediate change, immediate shift in flow. Uh, it was like night and day difference. For instance, with my, you know, since I started blogging in 2004, all the income streams that I've came, come up with, you know, since then, like none of those were my original ideas. Everybody suggested them to me. Uh, you know, I just started blogging with the mindset of helping people. And the first six months, I think I made like $170. And if you're working full time, that's about 17 cents an hour. <laughs> it's not a lot. Um, but as I kept going, people were saying, you know, I want to help you. I want to give to you. I want to help you monetize your work. I want you to succeed because I know you're doing some good work in the world. You're helping me. You're helping other people. I want to encourage and contribute to that. Um, and in turn, people started, um, you know, finding ways to help me. Like they suggested how I can make income from the site. People started sending me donations. Uh, and I, you know, I put up a PayPal donation link on the site because people were asking for it. Uh, and and at first I would say, no, no thanks, you don't have to give me anything. But then I, um, they would, you know, keep asking. So I said, okay, finally I'll put up a donations link. And, you know, for a while I was making up to like $2,000 a month just in donations. People would, uh, you know, send me cards and letters in the mail thanking me and expressing appreciation. That was a huge thing too, um, just getting all that extra appreciation for the work. That kind of thing just didn't show up when I was focused on my own needs. Um, you know, getting a book publishing deal with a $50,000 advance and the book publisher uh, Hay House came to me. I didn't even submit my book to any publishers. They learned about me because of my blog. All this goodness, all these invitations, all this positive flow showing up after I adopted that contributor mindset that said, you know what? My own neediness and focusing on that is not working. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm stagnating it or I'm sinking into debt. It's getting worse. Um, you know, that mindset has to be dumped. So if you're in that mindset right now, that mindset of neediness and, you know, focusing too much on, um, you know, trying to get for yourself because you think you need to, because you've got to claw your way out of this pit, realize that that mindset is what's keeping you in the pit. Realize that that is the, is the trap itself. And if you stay in that trap, it's not going to get any better. So if you've been in that situation, you know, use some objectivity and look back and see if it's actually getting any better. And if it's not, you know, if you see that like the last year, the last five years have been basically stagnant, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to branch out and just find some small way to help other people. You know, write an article, uh, share a video, do some small thing to share others who are learning and growing um, and they're, you know, one step behind on your path and you can help them out. I'll see you tomorrow.